Hi guys, my name is Violet and you're welcome to Things to Do in Lagos. I once talked about a very lovely Ethiopian restaurant on the show about two episodes back. It's called Kaldi House. And guess what? I am right here and we'll be taking a quick tour of this beautiful restaurant. And I will step aside for a bit for the lovely manager to tell us what is so unique about this particular restaurant. Stick with me. Don't go anywhere. Hi, my name is Sahara. I'm the manager of Ethiopian restaurants called Kaldi House, Lagos, in Lupeju. Our journey at Kaldi started with coffee. Uh, we celebrate African coffee and African culture. And so we created the village as a way to share the gifts that we get from Africa with the people of Nigeria and Africa and the whole world. When you come to Kaldi Africa and Kaldi House, which is essentially the same uh, place, you get to experience the best of Ethiopian, Kenyan, um, Nigerian, Cameroonian coffee. And then you also get the food, which is the Ethiopian food, to complement the, the coffee experience. Um, we have what we call the, the coffee tour, that you could go through the, the whole process of cupping different coffees, tasting the different coffees, um, and then at the end of the day also enjoying East African food, Ethiopian, Kenyan. Um, so basically we are all about sharing the East African coffee drinking and food culture with Nigeria. Welcome. So this is the traditional Ethiopian food. The base is injera, which is made from a flour called teff, and that is the gluten-free flour. It has a lot of minerals and a lot of uh, protein. It's gluten-free, which is the main thing why people like it. So it's very gentle on your tummy. And it comes with a variety of sauces, depending on your preference. Um, if you want a lot of meat, we have a meat-based platter. And then we also have a, a variety of uh, vegetarian options that you can have, or a mixed option like this one. So this is um, a what, which is beef stew. This is the same lamb, lamb stew, but without the pepper. This is lentils. And this is called shiro, which is uh, ground chickpeas and beans. And then you make it into a gravy. And then this is beef stir fry, called tips. So, welcome. You take a piece of the bread and you tear it up any amount you want and you can just use it to scoop up the sauces. Whichever, whichever combination you like. And you put it in your mouth. So the injera is fermented for a couple of days. That's why it's a bit sour. But um, it's full of probiotics and good bacteria for your gut. So this is very healthy food in a way. And uh, let me just pour that for you. We have a tradition in Ethiopia where you have to feed your guests. And it's called kusha. <laughs> <laughs> I have to welcome you and I have to let you know that I want you to eat. Yeah? Okay. So let me make a nice one for you. And it has to be big because you want your guests to feel at home and you want wow. to feed them and take care of them. Yeah? Interesting. So get ready for your gusha. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How do you feel to be fed? <laughs> so this happens it's a way of showing love to each other on the table. As you can see, we, we eat our food communally. We also have an extensive coffee tour where you can roast your own coffee, coffee, taste it, and then obviously buy freshly roasted coffee in Lagos. So let me take you to that. Olo. And kolo is made of barley, chickpeas, grains, mm -hmm. uh, granuts, and so it's served 
with, with the coffee, just, just as an accompaniment. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a wonderful experience. I've had a different feel and a new feel to the whole Ethiopian um, vibe, and I'm really, really grateful. Hopefully, one of these days, I will definitely pass by with some of my friends and get to hang out. You're welcome. All right, guys, that's all I can take on today's show. It's been a pleasant experience here at Caldi Restaurant. Make sure to check out our website, www.therealjews.com, for a compilation of events happening this weekend. Until I come your way next time, make sure you have a fantastic weekend.